were you nervous? Because obviously it took a while for your name yeah. to come up, but um, did seeing the other names that came up, I know LSU kind of gave a relief. Yeah, so I feel like in the past years, we've kind of been one of the first to be called, and even in the past years, I feel like we've been more confident we were going to be called, but as we kind of started to get to the first half was done, obviously I felt like we deserved it, and I felt like we were going to get called, but there's always a thought on the back of your head of the what ifs. Um, but like I said, I feel like our whole team and our coaches and staff feel like we deserved it and we were kind of confident we were going to make it. Looking back then at the regular season, even though there wasn't a whole lot of doubt today, winning those two games at the end of the regular season, yeah. how important was that in getting this position? Now you kind of look back at it. So important. Obviously, we came off of not winning four games in a row, and that's something that we're not used to. Um, and I think mentally and going into the SEC tournament, that is something we really needed and obviously for getting a bid today. Um, so I think we bounced back from those four games and we played a really good two games and came out with two good results. Um, so it was really important for us mentally and physically going into the postseason. Do you think you'll be able to channel that sort of uncertainty <laughs> about the tournament into going into maybe an underdog situation at UNC? Yeah, honestly, I like being the underdog. You know, it's very exciting that we're in the tournament. Um, like I said, even though we thought about it, it's, you know, it's the Carolinas. It's always a rivalry. It's always a good game. No game in the NCAA tournament is easy for anybody, obviously, but it's a close game. We don't have to travel too far, and I think we're all just super pumped about it. Um, and I think if I was somebody else, I wouldn't want to play us. So we're very excited and, you know, confident going into this game. Even though we're the underdogs, there's no part of us that's going to play scared or play like we are going to lose the game because we are going to go out and win the game. So, or try to win the game anyway. So that's just kind of our mentality going into Friday. So you guys played them in an exhibition in the spring? Yes, yeah, so we played them in an exhibition. It was like a very close game, nobody there. Um, and it was a good matchup. We lost 2-1. Um, but after that game, obviously, it's kind of nice to have played them somewhat recently because that was the only time I've played them in my four years here so far. So I think that's nice for us having to play them, maybe not in this season, but somewhat recently in the past year um, to kind of give us some sort of preparation to go into, fr uh, I guess this weekend, maybe not. Was that here or there? That was away. So we've already played in their stadium too, which obviously their stadium, they have a really nice stadium there. And obviously UNC is UNC um, and the reputation that they have. So playing in that stadium can be intimidating for some, I guess, but having already played there, I think gives us an advantage compared to maybe some other teams. When you guys started off nine and two, mm -hmm. four Mm. Um, what do you think, like, do you look at your season kind of like in three kind of yeah. chapters? And, and where do you think you guys are now? Are you guys more close to that 9-2 and two start? Yeah, obviously we started off super hot, and I think maybe we just kind of lost some things, didn't do the little things right. But we had training last night, and Jamie kind of said to us, we just need one more chance. And that's kind of how we felt. Like, we feel like we're peaking. We feel like we've been on a really good rise the past couple of day, um, games. Even though we lost to Auburn, we felt like we played really well. Um, so we just were hoping for one more shot at it to go for a run because we are very confident how we've been playing. We think we've been playing really well and as a team. Um, and the chemistry in our team, like, we're closer than we've ever been. Mm -hmm. How much does that help in this situation when you mentioned you're not the favorite, you're going on the road against an established mm -hmm. power in this mm -hmm. sport? Um, how can that help? Yeah, season. honestly, even in this season, we're battle tested. You know, we've some teams who've maybe gone undefeated. That's obviously a good thing, but we've had a lot of adversity this season and in the past year with COVID and everything else. So um, we just feel like we're ready and we've been in a bunch of situations. We've been down a goal and come back. We've been up a goal and had to hold leads. Um, we've been in tied games really late. Um, so I feel like we've had so much experience this season that obviously we've had the fifth years who went to the College Cup and then myself and the seniors who have been there every year and going forward. Um, experience is always a good thing. Um, and it gives the freshmen something to be really excited about. It's their first NCAA tournament and against a big team, you know, it could be a big result for us. What would be your advice to them going in? Just don't be scared. Play your heart out. You have, honestly, this game is, you can't leave anything on the table. It's obviously losing your season's done. So it can be daunting, but you don't want to leave with any regrets. So just leave it all out there and play your hardest. You said you like being the underdog. Is this, this mm. a different position, though, yeah. for you guys? So how, how do you kind of yeah. approach that? It is a different position. And obviously, I would like to be the favorite and everything. But being an underdog, I feel like people doubt us. And when I feel like when I'm doubted or when the team's doubted, I feel like we play even better. Um, and it's obviously there is something to lose, but in the sense of there's nothing to lose. So we just go out and play, like I said, not scared. Um, and we want to get a result just as much as any other team there, if not more. Um, so and like I said, there's a lot of pressure on them. They're home. They're, you know, they're the favorite. Um, and like I said, I wouldn't want to play us if we were another team. So.